Welcome to Two Minutes with Mike, where I attempt to blow your noodles in the time it takes to cook my noodles. I love Jesus, I just don't love the church. A common refrain from many who say they're believers but want nothing to do with so-called organized religion. I've even heard people call themselves gospel individuals. Now I'll be the first to admit that much of what calls itself the church is pretty unlovable. Much has drifted from what she is called to be. Some expressions of the church today are even totally disconnected from the head that is Christ. But despite all this, some churches, many churches still reflect Christ and every believer must give themselves to a local church. The church isn't an optional extra. Neither is it a duty or an obligation. It is a gift of grace to us. And we are called to love the church. Scripture makes this abundantly clear. In Ephesians 3 verse 10, it tells us that God's eternal plan is to use the church to reveal himself to the world. Later in Ephesians 5.25, it says, if we love Jesus, we will love what he loves. And he loves the church. He died for her. The new covenant means we are covenanted with Christ and therefore we have obligations to him and to his family, which is the church. If I'm in covenant with Christ, I'm in covenant with his people. And every metaphor about church shows the benefit of being together and of belonging. We're called the flock, the temple, the army, the family. I don't want to be a family of one. I don't want to be an army of one, even if I am Chuck Norris. John 13, 35 says, we will be known as his disciples by the way we love one another. Ecclesiastes 4.10 is an incredible scripture. It says, none of us is strong enough to make it alone, that we will inevitably fall and we need people to lift us up. The conclusion we take from all of this is it is impossible to love Jesus and not love his church. If she isn't what she should be, then each of us should give ourselves to help her become more like the bride he will return for. But we need to love God, love his people, love his church. Time's up, see you soon.